It's a new year and I've started a new project, so it seemed fitting to make this a new devlog series. For anyone who might be new here, Galactic Chef is a cooking competition show game in which you'll have randomized ingredients and procedural challenges, and the goal is to learn through experimentation and trial and error how those ingredients react to different cooking processes and what the judges are looking for based on their feedback. I released my first prototype earlier this week, and I'm already getting some valuable feedback. There's not much to it yet, in fact it's not even really a game yet because you can't win or lose, but the first thing I really want to nail down is the cooking mechanics. So for instance, right now you can drag around ingredients, you can put them in a pan or directly on the cooktop, you can drag them onto a tasting tool to get a readout of their attributes, and whatever you put on the plates and submit shows up on the judging screen where right now there's only just placeholder text, but eventually that's where you'll get procedural feedback based on an analysis of what you've created. Now I've already caught myself falling into my old habits of trying to design complex systems and go deep before figuring out the basics, thinking about how to make procedural challenges winnable, how to ensure that the right ingredients and reactions are in place to meet their conditions. But then I realized I don't need any of that for my first versions. I don't need anything procedural at all. So what I'm going to do now is actually create a full season of handwritten content with pre-designed ingredients and challenges that I can later turn into a tutorial. And I can use this to flesh out the flow of the game, all the gameplay mechanics, etc. And right now, I'm keeping everything open to change. For example, someone on Discord suggested having space limitations be part of the challenge, and that led to the idea of having physics where pans will bump each other out of the way and things could even fall on the floor and be ruined. I'm not sure if that's something that I'll like or not because it could become tedious, but that's the whole point of having prototypes from this early phase and gathering feedback, to find out, to try things before I go too deeply in any one design direction. So for my next build, aside from experimenting with things like that, I'm planning on a first draft of judging, I'm planning on changing the cooking simulation a little bit to have temperature diffusion, and perhaps the biggest change is I'm increasing the resolution of everything. I'm doubling the game resolution size, and I'm also adding about 50% to the sprite dimension so that you get a little bit more detail, but also more space to put more things on the screen. In the first version, the pixels were just a bit too big for any modern display. It felt a bit blurry and in your face, so, it might seem a little bit strange to spend too much time on pixel art at this phase before even nailing down the mechanics, but it's actually kind of helpful to realize that I need to change the scale and adjust layout and things like that before finalizing too much. If you'd like to get involved in these discussions and help shape the game, the link to the Discord server is in the video description. I'm also sharing builds on Patreon, and possibly in the future I might limit beta builds to Patreon supporters, but right now they're open to everyone. So. I guess that's all I have to talk about this week. I would like to emphasize, however, that Cargo Defense is not cancelled, it is not abandoned. I've spent far too much time and money on it to just let that all go to waste. So I will be coming back to it eventually, I just want to make one or two smaller games first. So as always, it really helps me out if you hit the like button, spread the word about this channel, and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, thanks for watching.